I'm Kirk Joby. I'm a board certified neurosurgeon in St. Petersburg, Florida. I've been uh, practicing neurosurgery in the Tampa Bay area for the last 15 years. Uh, today in the short video, I'd like to go over a more common procedure that we do, which is called an anterior cervical discectomy infusion. It's one of those surgeries that sounds scary at first, but when it's actually done in the operating room, it's probably one of the best procedures we have available to patients. Pathology that uh, uh, that we're usually addressing in this type of surgery is a uh, pinched nerve or a pinched spinal cord in the cervical spine. Uh, looking from the side, this would be the base of the skull here. We have the model of the neck, and you'll see each of the bones of the back here, one on top of another, each one with a disc in between. The discs allow for some compression of the neck, but also for movement of the neck forward and backward. And behind each of the discs, and there's a ring of bone. The ring of bones all the way down create a canal through which the spinal cord would go. And if you imagine any of the discs that are between the bodies here, if they herniate out into the spinal canal in the back, you can get pinching of the spinal cord or the nerve roots going through that canal. Surgery is done through the front of the neck and it sounds scary at first, but uh, if you touch your chin to your chest, everyone gets a set of lines in the neck. Uh, the incision is made along one of those lines, so at a year out, you can't even see where the scar is on the other side of the neck. What we do from there is we take the, the disc up and away from the compression of the spinal cord behind. Once the disc is out, imagine if we didn't do anything else, those two bones looking from the side, the two bones would fall together, which creates another problem. So we have to put something in between. There's two different options there. There's an artificial disc or a uh, titanium cage uh, that would hold the bones apart. In this example here, we have an artificial disc. It should go in between the two bones. That artificial disc then allows for natural movement side to side and front and back uh, of that region of the neck. The whole procedure itself takes about one to two hours. Uh, patient spawns back quickly, it's not very taxing on the body, and there's not a whole lot of pain involved with the surgery itself, so oftentimes it can be done even on an outpatient basis.